Okay. Lighty. Excuse. Dr. Fei Ling! Dr. Fei Ling! What is it, Linhua? Is the next patient here? Jeez, Doc. That person was your last patient, you know. Something the matter? You seem out of it. My assistant Lin Huan looks worried. I gave a better smile. I was just thinking about how long it's been since I've come here to Kagutsuchi. I think it's actually been a while, but now that you mentioned it, you came to this town because you were looking for something, right? I take it you haven't found it yet. Yeah. It's proving to be a lot harder than I expected. You look a little glum, Doc. R really? I guess I am a little worn out. Are you gonna go down again today? By down, she means to the lower layers of Kagutsuchi. Hmm. Maybe I'll try going up for a change. By which, of course, I mean the layers above Orion Town where the librarian of officials and other nobles lie. It looks quite different. You almost wouldn't know it's the same city. Up? That's pretty rare. Something's been bothering me lately. Some NOL soldier came to the Orient, uh, came to Orient Town today to put up new wanted posters. Ragnar the Bloodage. Apparently he's been going around destroying librarian branches, and now he's come here to the Fritzian hierarchical city of Kagutsuchi. From what I've heard, Ragnar's grimoire has unprecedented power. I'm sure that, that he would like to have it. But above? I can't really stand those guys. Everyone up on the higher layers treats the underground people like trash. I can do without those arrogant jerks. That's true. I can't say that I agree with what they do. Well, if you're going out, Doc, be careful. I hear there are officials from the library still running around. Yeah, I'll be careful. If anything happens while I'm out, can you call Dr. Han over? Ugh, <laughs> that quack? I don't like him either. He looks so perverted, too. It's not good to judge a book by its cover. That's exactly what the upper layer people do, you know? Yes, I know. Good answer. Now be good while I'm away. I wave to Lin Hua and step out of the clinic. As I look around, I can't suppress a smile. Suppress a small, bitter smile. They sure posted a lot on our wall too, didn't they? The wanted posters cover every wall in sight. Any flat surface has been plastered with his scowling face. I pull one down, fold it up, and tuck it away. If Ragna came from out of town, someone at the port probably saw him. In a world covered in clouds of cedar, people must use airships to travel from one city to another. This is how it's been since the war. However, there usually aren't many ships. I doubt the trip to the harbor would be a wasted one. Let's go, Lao Chu. I reach for my panda-like hair clip, and as if in response to my signal, it re uh, repositions itself, moving my hair to the side. Let's do our best. Even if someone told me this is wrong, even if I have to sacrifice a part of my humanity, I can't go back. Until we find him. We. I'm at the port now, but I wonder if anyone really has seen Ragna. I'll need to do a little investigating. Wait, why am I fighting Tao? Why am I fighting Tao? I'm sure I didn't <laughs> skip anything. Hey, booby lady, come play with me now. Only one person I know would attack me in a crowded plaza in broad daylight. Oh, Kaka. Don't jump on me like that. You startled me. Fine. I guess it can't be helped. But first, won't you get off of me? You're heavy. Fine. I guess it can't be helped. Tao, you need to settle down a little. Okay, meow. Yes. Good answer. Now, Tao, you're lucky it was me, but you can't just jump on people like that, okay? Okay, booby lady. Good response, and I appreciate you raising your hand. But are you sure you understand? You haven't done this to other people, have you, Tao? Oh, I haven't. Hmm? Booby lady, what's that meow? That's when she noticed the wanted poster tucked between my breasts. This? Do you want to see it? Yes, I do! Yes, I do! 
I pulled out the poster and handed it to Tao. Oh, this is that good guy. He's not a good guy. This is a wanted poster for him. But he is a good guy. He was in your town, booby lady. Huh? You mean he came to Orient Town? I fought him like bam, kaboom, and then he bought me lunch. So he's a good man, this white guy. As always, you have an interesting way with words. Putting the bang and kaboom aside, when she said white guy, she must have been referring to his white hair. I can't believe she's already met him. I can't believe Ragna's already passed through Orient Town. This must be what they mean when they say the base of a lighthouse is ever dark. If Ragnar is already in Kagotsuchi, then he is probably preparing to make his move. Thanks, Tao. It was good seeing you. Sure! I'm not really sure what happened, but I'm happy if I was able to help you. I'm taking off, so I'll see you around, booby lady! Okay, so it didn't matter whether I lost or won. Orient Town for now. What was that? It came from the direction Tao went. What should I do? Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to play this in order. I'm worried I should go take a look. I should take a look. Tao might be causing a ruckus for someone again. <laughs> that was fun, Meow. Not bad, little guy. You're not bad yourself. I have some fighting experience, but you use a really interesting style. And you're very strong. Quite dangerous. <sighs> I knew it. At least her companion doesn't look too angry. Hey now! Stop fighting this instant, you two! Yeah? This isn't a fight, booby lady! We're just playing, meow! Um, are you a friend of this cat? I I'm sorry for all the noise we've caused. I'm merely a vigilante, as is this cat lady, so we decided to put our strengths to the test. That doesn't seem like a really good reason. You must be quite skilled yourself since you can hold your own against Tao, but it's still dangerous. Besides, huh? Nirvana? What is it doing here? I apologize for being so inconsiderate. I only wanted to see some of her techniques, but I guess I'll be on my way now. Wait, that marionette of yours. Do you have some business with my sister? It's dangerous to have her by your side. At least let me... Do you intend to steal my sister from me? I'm terribly sorry, but I cannot comply with that request. Or are you going to resort to force? Nirvana, I would expect nothing less from a legacy of the Great War. Still, I'm impressed someone can use her as well as you do. I don't know how much you know about my sister. However... Every person who has called her that has tricked us in the past. Those are just unfortunate coincidences. That's a lie. Hmm. It's not fair that the two of you get to play like that. Let Meow join, too! Nagaka jumped high into the air and punched, I mean, playfully taps Carl in the face. <laughs> For reasons I don't understand, she begins licking him. Hey! Tao! You just knocked him out! Huh? I really did! That was boring. Don't boring me! <sighs> but thanks to you, you did help me out. He's really a good kid. Now, help me carry him to Orient Town. Why's that? Why? You're the one who knocked him out, silly. And he's injured on top of that. It's my job to help people. Now hurry and help me. Oh, where's my sister? She's fine. She's right over there. Sis, thank goodness you're okay. I thought they were going to take you apart again. It's called Nirvana. She's a man-made weapon from the war. I can't imagine why this boy would think Nirvana is his older sister. Perhaps she has some significant sentimental value to him. Are you feeling okay? Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Thanks for everything you've done. I'm okay now. I apologize for Tao jumping on you so suddenly. But why did you want to fight her so badly? It's not that I wanted to fight her. As I've explained earlier, as fellow vigilantes, we wanted to compare our strengths. Is that so? Huh? Looking at the way you two were fighting, 
One of you could have been killed. Uh, that was very rude of me. If it's the medical fee that you want, I can prepare that right away. That's not what I was trying to say. Then what is it? An apology? Don't tell me you want my sister. Tao, stop playing and come over here. Huh? I didn't do anything wrong. You can't get mad at Meow. Tao, I won't ask you again. Y yes, ma'am. Are you two sorry for fighting each other? It wasn't a fight. That's right. We were playing Meow. Are you two sorry for endangering each other? Y yes. yes. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> yes. yes now here's your punishment. <laughs> if I catch you two again, you can expect a lot more than that. Meow. <laughs> Have you two even realized you're hurt everywhere? Yeah, this is nothing. I'll just lick it. Uh, they're just scratches. So please don't worry about it. I can't do that. I am a doctor after all, you know. Both of you come with me. I'll treat your wounds. That's too much trouble, Meow. I think I'll pass too. Get over here. <laughs> she, she's scary, <laughs> Meow. Okay, that's it for the treatment. It, it stings. Now, the both of you are a lot stronger than the average person, and I'm sure that can lead to some advantages in life. But if you wield your strength for no reason, You'll hurt others someday, and yourself. It's in your best interest to keep that power hidden. Gotcha. I'll be careful now. Thanks again, booby lady. Thank you for the treatment. I'll excuse myself now. And, um, how much do I owe you? That won't be necessary. I brought you here against your will anyway. No, <laughs> she finally realized that. This person, she's just like... No, never mind. Did I do something unnecessary? If that's the case, you have my apologies. Let's go, sis. We have no more business here. Uh, wait! My, he's a fast one. Oh, boy. I forgot to ask that child for his name, too. I hope it was the right decision to not take that marionette away from him. Okay, so you can lose the first two fights, but I'm guessing that I'm going to have to win them to see you if there's another outcome. I'm back in Orient Town. Tao said Ragnar brought her some food around here. If I'm lucky, he's still nearby. Since he's a wanted bounty, I doubt he'll be on the main streets. I should make my way to the back alleys. I took a few alleys and back streets. Huh? No way. I take another look at the wanted poster. He does look a little different, but there's no mistake, it's him. He seems a little different, but he definitely shares the same attributes. Hey, isn't that him? Yeah, I think he is. Though, something doesn't feel quite right. Sh should we let the librarian know? You idiot, you're just gonna buy yourself some more trouble. You're right. Let's pretend we didn't see anything. Not surprising, most people will do everything they can to avoid coming in contact with the librarian. Either he's incredibly brave or incredibly stupid. A wanted criminal walking down the street in broad daylight. He, he, he heads straight for me and keeps on walking past me. Excuse me! Huh? You call me? What was I thinking? Well, I've got him to stop. What am I... what was I going to do now? Ah, <laughs> the choice number three takes me directly to the gag ending. I said I was going to continue with choice number one. Do you think I could ask you a few things? Do you think I can have a moment of your time? I'd like to talk to you about a few things. If this is a religious solicitation, save it for someone else. No, that's not it. You're... Um... The person on this poster, right? Huh? What are you, a vigilante? Sorry, but I don't have time to deal with you. I'm not trying to catch you, so don't worry. I haven't contacted the NOL either. You're not woman, but... Pff, what the hell? So what do you want? I don't have much time. I have a favor to ask of you. Regarding that power of yours. Power? 
When I simply nod, his expression changes. I didn't think he could scowl anymore, but... I don't know how you found out about this grimoire, but it's best you forget what you saw here. For your own sake. That's not it. I'm not the one after that power of yours. Why does trouble have to follow me wherever I go? Don't give me that look. You're making me worried. Thanks. It seems like he's willing to listen to what I have to say. I'd prepare myself for the worst, but he's actually much more polite than I was expecting. The person chasing you is a bounty named Arachne. He's been attracted by that power of yours and he'll eventually attack you for it. What, is that it? Psh, that's not a problem. No one will complain if a bounty or two dies, right? I'll just claim self-defense and kill the bastard. You can't kill him! What's with the sudden yelling? You're gonna give me a heart attack! I'm sorry, but you... You just can't kill a wreck. You mustn't kill him. So you've got your reasons, huh? Well, I guess I can hear you out. Explain yourself first. We'll go from there. And that's the situation. So if you meet him, please don't kill him. If I can find out where he is, I might be able to do something. I just don't have enough information right now. God damn it, why did I even decide to listen? It's too much to ask. Isn't it? All right, all right, I get it, so don't give me that face. If he has the nerve to show up in front of me, I'll beat him to a pulp. So make sure you're around to pick him up. I... I didn't mean to make you go out of your way. Not like it matters. He's gonna jump me anyway, right? But just so you know, I'm not gonna help you find him, got it? If he tries to kill me, I'll make him regret it, that's all. I have a responsibility to help him. If you find him, please tell me where he is. It'd be a lot easier if I just beat the crap out of him. I take it this conversation's over, so I'll be on my way. Later. He's really aggressive. But he certainly isn't a bad person. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy that should be on a wanted poster. Though I guess there's no use in me thinking about it. Okay. Wait a minute. Was that Ragna the Blood Edge? Uh, are you okay? Did he hurt you? Um, who might you be? Uh, my apologies. I'm NOL Lieutenant Noel Vermilion. You don't seem harmed. I need to chase that man, so I'll excuse myself. W wait Something makes me stop the lieutenant before she runs off after Ragna. I know I don't I didn't talk to him for that long, but I don't think he's really a bad person. Besides, I've heard librarian soldiers stop at nothing to get what they want. If she goes after Ragna, it could throw the city into chaos. I can't let that happen. Um, if you need something, could it wait till later? I'm in a hurry right now. I need to stop her. What should I do? Oh. Okay, that man can't possibly that be Ragna. Ragna. But he looks just like the drawing in the poster. L like his white hair. Exactly. That's why I was, uh, warning him. He shouldn't dye his hair white and spike it like that. Well, what do you mean? That's my younger brother. He's at a rebellious age right now. So he dyed his hair that color and wears that coat, thinking it's cool? Huh? And there are those posters all over town, right? I didn't want anyone to mistake him for that wanted criminal, so I was telling him to stop wearing that. I see. I thought I finally found oh my him. Why you vote for that? <laughs> Still, the townspeople should know that impersonating Ragna is a grave crime. I understand. I'll excuse myself now. Wow. If you do happen to see that man on the poster, please give me a call right away. I, I can't believe she bought that. I almost feel bad. <laughs> she's just a kid and she's only doing her job the best she can. <laughs> I hope she'll be okay. Yes, I'll be sure to do so. I forgot that light she has like quite literally non-confrontational options, which I absolutely love. Like, seriously. <sighs> that was quite a ruckus, but I can rest easy now. I told Ragna about him, so there's not much more I can do. I should head home for today. Him, huh? Maybe I'll try the Kaka clan tomorrow and ask if they've seen him lately. I haven't stopped by in a while, so it might be a nice change of pace. Oh! It's Miss Fei Ling! The, town I, the moment I arrived at the Kaka village, I, star, 
I head straight for the kittens. I come by the village ever so often to teach them. Yay! Run away, everyone! She's gonna make a study! Meow! They run in circles around me yelling, run away. They don't really hate to study, they're just playing around. They're just so adorable. Okay, settle down, everyone. Don't worry, I'm not here to make you study today. Aww! <laughs> that is so funny. We're not gonna study! <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone, but I'm here to speak with the Elder today. The Elder? Well, I guess there's no helping that. Yeah, though I'm not sure what it is we can't help. Oh, well, let's go play with Tao instead. Disappointed with what I have to say, the kittens run off to play somewhere else. <laughs> it's nice to see energetic children. I hope he doesn't try to attack the village again. I better hurry to the Elder's place. Long time no see, Elder. How have you been? Oh, it's been too long, Lychee. I've been doing just fine, thanks to you. <laughs> so, what can I help you with today? It's regarding him again. Has there been any casualties in the village lately? It seems he's settled down for the time being. He hasn't eaten any villagers lately. You're being awfully friendly to the woman who's trying to help the guy who's been slaughtering your village. I see. That's good to hear. I will come up with a countermeasure for him as soon as possible. So if you can, please tell the villagers to be alert. Understood. Is that all you wanted to tell me? No. I came to give you a progress report on the research you requested. In exchange for researching the problem in her village, the elder has agreed to provide me with information about Arachne. The village problem? There are only a few males, and the population of the town has never been more than 100 or so. The elder worries that the village may disappear completely someday, and so she asked me to look into it. The Kaka clan isn't just a bunch of run-of-the-mill beastmen. They're biological weapons left over from the Great War. Is that part of the secret of this village? I see. And what are your thoughts on the matter? Based on the results, there is no denying the fact that it's a device tempered to maintain a population of 100. The population of the village has never surpassed 100 people, as shown by the statistics. And if for some reason it suddenly dropped, asexual reproduction would automatically compensate for the numbers that were lost. Asexual? So they can actually reproduce no matter what, which means technically speaking they can't actually go extinct. So unless there is a phenomenon that will instantly wipe out the entire population, there is no fear of extinction. Hmm. So that's how it is, huh? I guess we have no choice but to slowly disappear into the flow of time. As I have mentioned before, even if your population drops for whatever reason, it will be restored automatically, in theory. So in the end, we are just another race that has been forsaken by God. All the children that are born anew are nothing more than copies of those who passed away. Mm, yeah, when you put it like that, it's actually kind of understandable how they could see it as slowly dying, because technically speaking, you're not actually improving. Like in terms of a civilization, if you're not actually advancing, because all you're getting is rehashed copies of the ones who died, then technically speaking, yeah, you're either bound to make the same mistakes and just continuously go in a loop and eventually maybe get wiped out. Though we have a population of 100, we are essentially one entity. A hundred of us are like one human being. A single human being will always die. Though there are some minor differences among your race, that doesn't change the fact that you've been cloned from a single organism. For that reason, an environmental shift could potentially wipe out your entire race. But I believe we can reduce that risk through genetic alteration. Or maybe breeding with some other species? Is that even possible? Like, getting a new blood is always gonna help, right? So we must break even more laws of nature to prolong this pathetic excuse for a race. How could God ever forgive us? But what I just said is completely rational. 
why can't you just breed with other species? Can you breed with humans? I don't know, is that even possible? The elder's words weigh heavily on my mind. It sounds as though she's prepared to watch her kin keen go extinct, kind go extinct. Perhaps my mission is simply to delay that day as long as possible. I'll excuse myself for today. Leaving so soon, are you? I must apologize for the lack of hospitality. It's quite all right. I'm just glad to see the happy faces on those children. I can't thank you enough for teaching those kittens. You have done more than I can ask for, for our village. I just hope things can remain the way they are. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Wasn't that like your problem earlier? <laughs> Lychee, once you find him, do you intend to leave our town? I mean, we have no right to stop you or anything. No. I don't intend to go anywhere. Orient Town is my home now. And there are many people who need me here. <laughs> that was nice. Oh man, I really do like... Yeah, I really do like Lychee's route. It's so refreshing not having to fight people. Oh my gee. Please don't make things worse. What? What do you mean? You want to let that wanted criminal Ravna just roam as he pleases? Shh, you're talking too loud. I've been keeping an eye on Ragna, but he didn't seem like the type to initiate anything. I'm not asking you to let him go. Could you at least wait until he's out of town? Look around you. Lai signal Noel to look around. Hey, she's from the library. Did something happen? I heard her yell Ragna out loud. Huh? He's in town? But, but still... I've been ordered to capture the criminal on sight. I don't have time to be standing around if I don't hurry. You plan to use those guns in town? That's too reckless. But what you're doing right now is an obstruction of justice. As an NOL officer, I can't let that slide. If you continue to interfere with my duties, I'd say you are his accomplice. All you've been talking about are your orders. Is following your superior's commands all you can do? I'm placing you under arrest for suspicion of treason against the NOL. Drop your weapon and prepare to be judged. So she wants to keep Noel from using her guns in town by forcing her to use her guns in town to fight her. You're pretty good. I should have expected this much from a Praetorian guard. Any more resistance is futile. Keep quiet and come with me. Doc, what are you doing at- Huh? A soldier from the library? Stay inside, Linois. Leave this to me. But, Doc, you're injured. Somebody! Help! Library brutality! A soldier is harassing the doctor! <laughs> what are you doing? L Linois, d don't do that. They'll arrest you, too. Someone! Save the doctor! What? Dr. Finney's in trouble? We're not gonna let them bastards from the library take our doctor away! <laughs> what? She saved our lives! Get lost, Noel. Suddenly there are people everywhere swarming around Noel and me. She's starting to panic. Oh, all of you, I'll remember <laughs> this! Uh, Doc, are you okay? I barely, uh, I'm barely conscious, but I can feel the townspeople carrying me to a nearby clinic. I, I just, I just hope the people who stood up to the Noel won't get in trouble. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! What is this? Oh, goodness. Leave immediately. 
she'll likely return with more people from the librarium. But I suppose I'll worry about it then. That was quite a ruckus. But I guess that settles things for now. I should head home for today. But what about him? Maybe I'll try the Kaka clan tomorrow and ask if they've seen him lately. I haven't stopped by in a while, so it might be a nice change of pace. Alright, so... Basically, choice one and choice two lead to the same ending. The only difference is that... Um, you get to fight Noel in one of those and you have to essentially get pummeled by her or allow her to beat you. So let's go back to where... You know what? I'm probably gonna do this ending first. There he is right in front of me, Ragnar the Bloodage. I have no idea what to say. What? If you have no business, I'm gonna be on my way. No, he's leaving. I have to. I need to tell him or, or something bad will happen. Oh, you look as beautiful as ever, Miss Lychee. But whoever might that young man you're talking to be? Forgive me for eavesdropping. But this is only my heart acting on its own. Wait. My home is around here. Well, it's a clinic, really. But, um, w would you mind stopping by for a while? What? <laughs> <laughs> huh? I have a few things to talk to you about, and it's very important. No! <laughs> Can it be? Miss Lychee! Don't tell me you've fallen for that youngster! I don't know what you're after, but you should keep your distance from me. Uh, please don't go yet. Miss Lychee, that sad expression. Could that man be your oh loved God. one? Oh God. No, this can't be. But still, it is a man's duty to wish for a woman's happiness. <laughs> oh, poor you. Please, listen to what I have to- Hmm? Is someone hiding over there? Oh crap, I've been compromised! If I'm found, I can never live up to be a true man of Ikaruga! Call me a coward, but for now, I must withdraw. They fled? Something definitely feels wrong. I'm worried about Ragna, but I need to catch that person first. <laughs> Stop right there! <laughs> oh goodness! I've caught you, eavesdropper! E e e e eavesdropper? That's a misunderstanding, Miss Lychee. H how do you know my name? Don't tell me you're a... a stalker! Yeah, he kind of is. That is a misunderstanding as well. I am none other than Bang Shishigami! I'm a vigilante from Ronin Gai! And what was a vigilante doing sneaking in the shadows? I... I have picked up a rumor that the great criminal Ragna has set foot in your town, so I was staking it out, trying to capture him. A vigilante staking out this town? That makes it even more suspicious. So why did you run? I unconsciously started running because I thought you might hate me if you knew I was eavesdropping. <laughs> so you were eavesdropping. <laughs> I'm handing you over to the NOL, so don't even think about resisting. No, you can't do that! Uh, please, calm down, Miss Lychee, and listen to what I have to- Whoa! Watch the stick! Oh, please don't point that thing at me! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Unfortunately for Bang, this is a win or lose. So I will not be losing. I don't want to see your face inside Orient Town again. If I happen to see you, I'm turning you over to the NOL personally. No, oh, it's all a misunderstanding. I don't need to hear your excuses, but I hope you've learned your lesson. My deepest apologies. Indeed, I have done something that can lead to a misunderstanding, and it is my fault for not being able to undo it. As long as you regret what you did, I can forgive you. 
The next time you come by my clinic, use the front door, okay? <laughs> You're forgiving me? You truly are a kind soul! <laughs> Don't worry about it that much. I need to get going. Hmm? I guess I made it all the way to town chasing him, didn't I? After I finish warning the stalk, warning, warning the stalk, I take a moment to look around. Things here feel quite different from Morian Town. If I'm not mistaken, this area is the Ronin District. What an unusual scene. Buildings descending from under the bridge? I guess it wouldn't hurt to go take a look at it. Even though I know I'm in the same city, I almost feel like I'm walking through a foreign country. Hey, lady, I don't believe we've met before. Where are you from? I'm from Orion Town, little girl. Oh, I remember now. You're a doctor, aren't you, lady? A doctor? Cool. Have we met before? No, but my mom says she's been to your clinic before. That she got some medicine from a pretty doctor with a panda in her hair. A panda? <laughs> well, I suppose you're right. That's probably me. Yep. And you're pretty, so it has to be you. Now, now, flattery will get you nowhere. Don't make girls cry when you grow up, okay? I won't do that. I'm gonna be an amazing person like our boss. I like the boss. The boss? He's really strong and nice, too. He saved everyone when the old town burned and built this new one here, you know? So the boss is our hero. I see. He must be an amazing person. Yeah, <laughs> and he looks really cool. It'd be great if you were his wife. Lol. Again with the flattery. I really am worried about your future. I wonder when he'll be back. I want you two to meet already. Lol. I made a crane. I want to show it to the boss. I hope your boss comes back soon. Ah! <laughs> Miss Lychee! <laughs> it's all a misunderstanding! <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. I accidentally resisted with all I've got. Are you okay, Miss Lychee? Oh, so it is different, so you do have to lose. Don't touch me! Don't you dare think you can overpower me with force! Understand? Miss Lychee! <laughs> Why is this happening to me? Hmm? I guess I made it all the way to town chasing him, didn't I? Ah! <laughs> Miss Lychee! <laughs> it's all a misunderstanding! <laughs> oh, no. Alright, we are going back to Ragnar. You're a wanted criminal, I can have you running around. You're the guy on this poster, right? Huh? What are you, vigilante? Unfortunately, I'm in a hurry. You sure are making yourself comfortable here, aren't you? If you promise to leave Kagutsuchi right away, I won't inform the NOL I saw you. If you know about me, you must know what I'm after. There's no backing down. What do you intend to do with that power of yours? I'm under no obligation to tell you. Wait, what if he obtained that grimoire by accident or chance? Is that the only reason he's been able to stand up to the librarian for this long? If that's the case, if I can get my hands on that grimoire... I can't let someone who will disturb the peace of this city roam free. Are you serious? I really don't enjoy beating up women. Finny! I messed up! <sighs> Just doesn't feel right fighting a woman. Besides, you were pulling your punches, weren't you? You seem to have your reasons, so I'm willing to listen. You're sharper than I thought. Ugh, way to beat around the bush. If you had something to say to me, why don't you just say so? I'll hear your story, so spit it out. I have a favor to ask of you regarding that power of yours. Power? Ah, oh, so if I lose, it's basically the same thing. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! Here, hold! Hold! Hi, Tim! 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 Tim!
Got you cornered now. Give it up. I'm amazed. Who the hell are you? I work at that clinic right there. What, doctor? So what do you want with me? Unfortunately, I don't believe in seeing physicians. I have some things I want to ask you. Oh, really? Well, I don't, so see ya. Stop. It's rude to leave in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hardly call this a conversation. Just listen to me. <laughs> Oh goodness. Where did he go? I'd been so fixated on my search for Ragnar, I didn't notice the sunset. It's dark now, and that's not going to make my search any easier. I take a minute to rest near the edge of Orient Town. Maybe I should give up for today. Hey kid. <gasps> it's been around trying to find the source of the mysterious voice. Huh? No one's here? Am I hearing things? No, you ain't. Who's there? Where are you speaking from? Calm down, ma'am. I ain't gonna hurt you. I just want to talk. I can't see anyone. No sense beating around the bush. That power you got. You know where it comes from? I... I don't know where it comes from. But I shouldn't either. No one should. Stay calm, Light. You just answer his question. Of course. I wanted this power, so I obtained it. Now you done stuck your hand into a nest of vipers, kid. You've seen the boundary, ain't you? You've seen what it can do to a fella. Yes, I know that too. And that's something you're willing to live with, huh? Yeah, you must have a mighty compelling reason for doing what you've done. Just what do you figure on doing with all that power? I needed to protect what's important to me. <laughs> I've seen a lot of things done in the name of protecting what's important. <laughs> Did your wish come true? I have no idea who you are. But that's none of your business. All right then, ma'am. Suppose you're not interested in the whereabouts of that fella you're after then. Uh, you mean, you know where he is? The underground waste facility near the Kaka clan's village. I reckon you know where that is. But I've already checked that place many times. It ain't exactly common knowledge, but the library's running that place. Stuff they put down there, rest of the world ain't supposed to see. Uh. There's plenty of hidden ways into the sewers even the library don't know about. You look close. I reckon you'll find what you're looking for. Impossible. I've looked there numerous times, but I never found anything. Still, why did you tell me all this? Because I reckon it's the right thing to do, but I have to warn you, ma'am. If you don't take care of him, I will. I can't afford to miss him, so I'll go. Let's hope your choice is the right one. Good luck to you. Till we meet again. He's gone. I have to hurry. I never knew such a place existed. I've been here so many times, but I didn't notice it. <gasps> Who? Yeah, I don't recall you at all. Finally. Finally, I get to meet you. How long has it been since then? It must have been ages. I do. You are go away. Him, huh? Beating around the bush doesn't make me feel any better. I told you get lost. You're gradually losing all of your memories, aren't you? <laughs> Wait! Huh? What? What was. A string thread through brain pull out. <laughs> I was so close. Uh, wait! Gah! How dare you interrupt me, Grimalkin! That's... space-time teleportation? You know, he called my name. It was only for a moment, but he did. I might make it in time. I might still be able to save him. That's why I don't have time to be defeated here. 
Activate elimination protocol. What was that? Such strange scenery, but it seems too real to be a hallucination. That was definitely me. What in the world was that? The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! Counter! Return! Chen! My hands are shaking. He melts like a candy bar in a frying pan until he's nothing more than an oily puddle. There's no doubt that he's dead. For some reason, I can't bring myself to cry. It's over. With this, I can finally... I can finally be at ease. I'll never forget what I've done here. The memory that he was killed. With my own hands. Gah! How dare you interrupt- That's... space-time teleportation? You know, he called my name. That's why- Activate elimination pro- What was that? Such strange scenery, but it seemed too real to be a hallucination. It was definitely me. What in the world was that? So I probably need to choose the other option. I will change fate with this power. I've seen a lot of things done in the name of protecting what's important. My hands begin to tremble. I look down at him. I don't know what to say. I'm not trying to relieve his pain. I only want to kill him to relieve my own. If I kill him, the days of me worrying about him will end. And I just need to live the rest of my life with regret. I thought that was the right choice. But that's just me running from my problems. I didn't gain this power from the boundary for something like that. As much as I want to, I can't leave him like this. If I do, he'll just hurt someone again. I'll go see the professor again. I'll find a way to stop you. And bring you back. Damn you! I'm still there. Do you try to come back? First. I'll come back for you. I promise. Hello, professor. It's been a while. I left your side of my own accord, and now I am in need of your help. I hope you can forgive me for being so selfish. I brought some tea, Doc. I think it'll get chilly today. I stop and turn around. Thanks. It's good that you're always energetic, but you'll catch a cold if you wear short sleeves all year long. Well, today is pretty cold, so I'll put something on later. By the way, did something happen to you today? Hmm? Why do you ask? It's like you dropped a bunch of excess baggage, but at the same time you look troubled. So I was wondering what's up. <sighs> I suppose you're right. I probably look relieved because I know what I need to do. And I probably look troubled because I know how hard it's going to be. Hmm. I'm not really sure what you mean, but hang in there, Doc. Thanks for the support, Linwa. 
You might feel some of the weight on my shoulders, but can I count on you for your help? Sure. Though I'm a little worried about that weight on my shoulders part, you could count on me. What I'm trying to accomplish is by no means an easy feat. But for some reason, when I look at Lin Hua's smile, it makes me think. Maybe it's not that impossible. I guess I'm pretty happy the way I am now. Hmm? Did you say something, Doc? Nothing at all. I glance out the window at the night sky. The stars look beautiful tonight. Aren't they? Hey! A shooting star! The cold night sky makes the stars shine brighter than ever. But one star seems somehow ominous, as if it's trying to tell us where the world is headed. Finding Ragnar bothers me, but finding Ragnar is more important right now. I need to find him before he does, or who knows what'll happen. It's good to be energetic, Tao, but you should also know when to cut it out. I can't believe that I forgot. I'm back in Orient Town. Tao said Ragnar bought her some food around here. If I'm lucky, he's still Since nearby. He's Bounty, I doubt he'll be on the main streets. I should make my way to the back alleys. And the wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action! you fight seriously if you're one to talk i know you pulled your punches you noticed i can tell that much you seem to have your reasons so i'm willing to listen you're sharper than i thought <sighs> way to beat around the bush if you had something to say to me why don't you just say so oh my goodness that was it i just never Long oh goodness, okay. Wow. Uh so I'm going to have <laughs> Lychee's pad on screen just to make you understand because I genuinely okay, she's in contention with who? It was Jin. And who else was it that was super complicated? Keep on forgetting who was it? Arachne was a piece of shit also to get through. Cause Tao was fine, Noel was fine, everyone else like, oh goodness, it was so annoying to get through. <laughs> Cause I didn't understand what I wasn't doing correctly, you know, I was following all of the guides, but the guides actually miss are misleading somewhat i really need to figure out a good way to get through lychee's route that you get because you have to lose the rag now oh man but then i guess like as soon as you get through to ragnar's fight and just win then you can leave it and not even do the rest of the fights so annoying because it was six <laughs> percent oh she's also one of those that you can get to the same ending like in a bajillion ways so yeah <laughs> but i actually do like her a lot as a character um and yeah that was lychee's story thank you for watching have a nice day